You want to say hello? And the uh, wisteria is, uh, there's the uh, sort of base, I suppose. And then here across the lawn, these, these lines are sort of reaching strands of wisteria. They kind of extend out and then uh, begin to leaf, looking for something to climb. Kind of chasing the contours of the ground. I'm gonna see how we do. I'm trying to uh, set the camera up, maybe balanced on my hat a little bit. Something like that. Hey, Saki. Hmm. Earth here is so rich. Doesn't make for good video, but it rained recently and I'm kind of on the north side in a shaded piece, <clears throat> patch of earth here on the north side of the trees in the house. As you can see, I'm very close to the ground. It's very, very pungent. It's like a little sour, very earthy and mossy. <clears throat> and there's a slight breeze. There's been hawks flying around for the last few hours. <clears throat> and the wisteria suggest to me the seeking of support and this kind of lifelong support seeking and in the early spring with these bare sort of spira spiraling tendrils you know arcing into the sky before much of any leaves have arrived there's flowers and it feels like a poverty of flowers you know, on a fairly big uh, I guess we might say bush plant anyway the wisteria there'll just be a few flowers almost like an afterthought or a I guess if you want flowers, here's three. And so these flowers appear with the branches bare before the start of visible leaves. And even at that, there's just a few. And they're pale against the white sky. And then the leaves, the leaves which support the roots, support the flowers the following year, the leaves that support the seeds. <clears throat> and then towards the end of their season. There's these red half moon seed pods. Like the wisteria just drops smiles all around. Smiles that have seeds of other smiles in them. Like a smile shared between friends. So a little contemplation of the wisteria may lead to a little meditation with the wisteria 
of course normally we have leaves precede flowers which precede seeds And the wisteria has flowers and then leaves and then seeds. And so what might it be like to have the flower of a thought before the thing that gives it power has opened to the sun? Long before the seeds fall from it. Long before the karma of those thoughts is shared and evident. And so the wisteria, which is now moving in the breeze. I'm going to see if during this quiet meditation, which can be done sitting or standing or laying, although I would not recommend walking. The idea is To settle, feel the earth beneath you, even if it's beneath the floor that you're standing on or sitting on. And feel when a thought enters, that it comes into flower before it's fed. That it reaches its beautiful maturity before you fuel it. And only after it's mature do you fuel it. And only after you fueled it does it become karmic, a seed, does it become a shift. a ripple for another to sense. So we'll inhale, exhale, not awaiting thoughts, but aware that they will likely come. And allow that thought to rest in the space that you've discovered or carved out or found or sanctified or made whole. And allow that thought to come into flower before it's fed, before you give it the energy and the power to be causal to something else, to something outside yourself, to be karmic in its seed life. So breathing, receiving the air into oneself, the breath of the earth becomes your breath on the inhalation. On the exhalation, your breath becomes the breath of the earth. One quality of the wisteria is this ever-seeking support outside itself, ever-reaching. If we can fold that notion into this meditation, we may come closer to a direct apprehension of the experience of wisteria. Inhale. Receive the earth's breath. Exhale, 
give unto the earth your breath. Flowers before fuel, fuel before seed. What would it be like to ripen your thoughts before you fuel them? Before they're planted in others? For me, the wisteria reminds and teaches this. While we're stuck in this realm of uninvited thoughts, we can recognize that there's another possibility which Saki's reminding us of.